Welcome to part two. Now, the big problem about the 12th of December, and indeed the huge fuss about Raila Odinga being sworn in, is uh, because it's Raila Odinga. Yeah? If it was anybody else being sworn in, it would mean nothing. But then Raila Odinga being sworn in, this is the man who won the Aga State elections, widely believed, yes. Uh, results uh, hidden in the server which has not been opened to date despite an order by the highest court in the land and legally and otherwise when people refuse to do something it uh, always points to their guilt which means the refusal to open up the servers means that uh, those servers have results which are contrary to what Kenyans have been brought to believe meaning that it is correct that Raila Odinga won the August 8th elections. Yeah, that, that's what that means. By Raila Odinga being sworn in, it will mean that uh, the 8 million plus people who voted for him on uh, August 8th will have a president. In other words, in other words the large, huge numbers uh, of people supporting this man Raila Odinga, yes, will officially be able to recognize him as their president. That's what it means politically. It will mean that the country will enter into that, into that very dangerous and unprecedented position where we have two countries and two presidents within one country. That is what it means politically. Yeah, And that's why you hear NASA supporters saying that after the swearing in, it is either Raila president of the whole country or the country secedes. Yeah, or rather there's a secession in the country. The country is divided into two with Raila Odinga and his supporters uh, forming their own country and uh, the remaining Republic of Kenya being their own separate country. That is actually what it means. And that is the big concern the Jubilee government has. Yeah. It is not really the swearing in per se. Yeah. But is what the swearing in means. In other words, uh, a large chunk of the population of the country, yes, who are supposed to call Uhuru Kenyatta their president and recognize him as such, will be declaring that no, they have their own president. Okay? Uh, and that is President Raila Amolo Odinga. That is the main issue here. That is the crux of the problem here. Yeah? Because, uh, you know, a lot of us have not been able to understand, especially those who are non-Kenyans, foreigners looking to Kenya, have not been able to understand why there seems to be such a big uh, hula baloo and why the Jubilee government is so, so concerned about uh, the swearing-in of Raila Odinga. That's really what it is. That is exactly what has caused all the threats flying in the direction of Raila Odinga, all the amazing, incorrect... Uh, interpretations of the laws and the constitution of the Republic of Kenya, yeah, all that activity, yes, is centered around that fact. And that fact, of course, is of course what the swearing in will mean, yeah. It is a strategy of a think tank like no other which has been seen in these shows, yeah, a think tank that is uh, has been way ahead in the game. Yeah, and a think tank that knows exactly where NASA are going. Yes, and they even have ETA's estimated time of arrival at each stage. Yes, uh, in the <laughs> in the route and in their journey to where they are going. Yeah, NASA rights like to call that place Canaan. Yeah, but uh, for this political analysis, because I do not belong to NASA, and neither do I belong to Jubilee, I will just call it in their journey to the objective. Now let's address the dangers, okay? The first danger I see, in my view, is the fact that the country is so tense, emotions are so high, that uh, we're in a position which is extremely dangerous. It's like having a place, a surface, yeah, which is flooded with petrol, yeah, but most people think it is water. Yeah, and people are passing by and doing their usual activities. People are passing by and saying uh, all is well, things are normal. Yes, a bit of tension, but nothing to worry about. 
and yet it is only a matter of time before somebody passes who happens to be a smoker yeah and they decide to reach into their pockets and uh, light their cigarettes and then all hell will break loose in other words we're in a situation whereby a very small trigger let alone a big one a very small spark yeah could send the country called Kenya into flames that is really the immediate uh, danger uh, of greatest concern that really is what it is now because of what has happened in the past and because of where the tensions have reached in the country even a small thing like a clash between the police and protesters could be the spark that could just send this country to serious trouble let alone other larger sparks yeah like the arrest of uh, any prominent uh, nasa people yes or even the arrest god forbid of Raila Odinga. That, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Kenyans, is the greatest danger and threat failing, facing our beloved country, Kenya, now as I speak. The other big danger for our country is uh, the very obvious one which everybody is seeing. Yeah? A situation whereby Raila Odinga is sworn in, yes, and uh, the immediate consequences of that. The immediate consequences of having a country whereby uh, we have uh, different citizens of that country recognizing different individuals as their president, yeah, officially, yes, because after the swearing in, it will be loud and clear, yeah, that, that is the other danger which is very obvious. Why is it a danger? It's a danger because Kenya is one country which requires one president. You cannot have two presidents, yeah? Having two presidents is a very serious crisis, yeah? Because the two individuals we're talking about, Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga, have massive support. And uh, a big chunk of uh, their support, both candidates' support, is very radical and very emotional about their man being president of the country, yeah? That would be another spark yeah that would send the country into flames i'll be back shortly with the next episode in this series this is chris kumekucha oops before i go i just reminding you that you know the drill yeah uh click on the link on your top left hand corner and you should be able to join me in the next part this is chris kumekucha <laughs>